I'd say that Esperes is probably one of the bits of Marga left with um, some of the best rock in Marga left. Uh, it's pretty like exposed to all the elements. So I think that, you know, you, there's a strange difference in Margalef. Like you always have these sort of like steep starts on orange rock. And then you always get the sort of like water worn blue rock at the top, which they give always like, it's always like a contrasting style. Like the tops are pretty much always like rounded slabby, um, smooth rock, you know, and the starts is always pretty much powerful, explosive, dynamic climbing. All this season, so I bolted Wild West and I cleaned up an old project, Frenesy and then Mr. Big. Like whether a route is good or bad, kind of like to me is all about the flow of the route. I think that's mm -hmm. the only way that I can describe some, you know, like there's there's like loads of different elements. It might be the quality of the rock, the quality of the movements, um, the position, you know, like where is it? You know, if it's like by the side of a road, like, you know, it could be the best climb ever, but it's like not as special mm -hmm. because of the, the, of the place where it is. But this one is like, it just feels like a perfect sort of straight up line in the middle of the Espedilla sector, which is like a little mini Seirus for me. It's, you know, it's one of the best cliffs here. And it was just so surprising that it was sat there for so many years. You know, the first routes in Espedillas were vaulted maybe 20, 22 years ago. And it's just kind of like lay dormant until until this winter. So I think it's just... It's amazing that it kind of gives you these little gifts now and again. Um, but yeah, that's got to be up there as like the best one maybe. It has one big rest. Um, but after that rest, all the moves are just like totally continuous it's like you know it's this jumpy dynamic style and you're just flowing the whole way you don't really have to stop at any point the only points where you're stopping really is to like clip um, and to find routes that climb like that is pretty unusual like I think pocket climbing in general can give that style because there's not always that many uh, tricks, you know, like knee bars and things that you would find in two for areas where this where the flow of the route might be a bit slower mm. But that's kind of like fast climbing on pockets. I think is, is you know, it's pretty special Then you're homie forte Venga bicho
Vamos. Vamos, máquina, vamos, ¿eh? Vamos. Yeah, so I think I've like noticed just through trial and error over the years of finding out what works for me. And I think everybody has their own little system, their own their own way of approaching a climb that works for them. It's not a, it's not a topic that I think is that um, well studied or well sort of shown in in the, within climbing. You know, everybody's maybe followed a training plan at some point, but I'm not sure that there's that many people who follow a sort of mental um, program or an approach towards climbing. And I found that for me, having a little mantra, mm -hmm. which just directs my thoughts. For me, I need to stay in the moment when I'm climbing. It's too easy for me to, to wander into, well, what if that um, crimp up with the right hand feels bad or... What if like my foot slips or what about that last clip or what about if you start thinking in those things, you won't flow. And as soon as I kind of use this little mantra that I found for myself, I can sort of enter into that um, flow state and it helps me to stay there. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I've found um, has been a big change in my climbing. I can kind of enter into that flow state when I want using that mantra which years ago I couldn't do. And it really depended on if that day was going to be a good day or not.
So I feel that in this point in my life, the creative circle of searching for, bolting and trying to send new lines is what really motivates me the most. Um, this process of developing projects mainly for you know for me and for future generations is is the best way that I can contribute back to the climbing community and in my own way complete the circle